Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. In this episode, we're heading back to Panada Village to get some more shine sprites in episode 5, The Secret of the Village Underside. Whoa, Nelly. This level, hmm, is most, without a doubt, probably the most difficult secret mission. Just for really bad reasons, and if you've played the game before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And it's kind of a shame, too, because it's like you have to do the level. It's kind of annoying, but hey! You know, I'm, I'm pretty decent at it. Alright, Yoshi needs a pineapple. We need Yoshi for this level and to access something under, under the village. So let's go ahead and just grab that. Now, this is like the coolest tree in the world. Look at this thing. It has one of every fruit in the game. This thing is sweet. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty sure durians don't grow on trees. Whatever. Actually, I might be wrong since I'm wrong in a lot of ways. I'm just going to chuck that halfway across the map and hopefully that will collide with Yoshi. No, pretty sl pretty close though. So one time I like chucked it all the way over, and it landed perfectly, and I felt so cool. And I wanted to replicate that in video form, but unfortunately I'm too big of a nerd. All right, so let's just. Eh, I'm not gonna go. Actually, yeah. Ah, leap of faith. Actually, you could have done a bigger leap of faith, but whatever. Leap of faith. Yeah, I'm smart. Okay. So basically, what you want to do is you want to take Yoshi and go over here. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So what you gotta do is you gotta take Yoshi, and you gotta, you gotta go over here. And it's pretty easy, considering you have Yoshi and he just jumps forever. And yeah, just do that. Now here's a little tip, don't try and jump on these platforms, because they're actually kind of hard to aim on. Just do this long range, take care of the platform. Yeah, so we got it. Now dismount Yoshi, and use your flood to get over there. Yeah, that's kind of a tip I kind of stole from other let's plays. Don't tell the police. I'm already in jail or in probation. Ugh. And oh my goodness, this Flawless Lint mission is complete evil. This is the I'm a Chuckster level. Yes, the infamous, evil, truly preposterous level. And why is that so annoying? Why is that, why, why it's up with all this build up, John? I know you're over dramatic and all. But, but I don't understand. I've never played this game before. I'm a Chuckster! Then he chucks you. And that's the level. Now these guys are not very easy to control, and their precise move movements are very hard to gauge. Now where I'm standing... Actually, I'm, you can pretty much just watch the video if you're trying to use this as a guide. Where I'm standing are the ideal spots you actually want to be chucked from. And it's kind of tough because you got to press the B button at the just right time and get the right trajectory and alright so we're doing alright pretty pretty uh so far and oh gosh it's a, it's a strut and stew they want my blood ah, ah, yeah oh hey it's actually pretty fun <laughs> well let's, st let's stop destroying the the uh, wildlife here and I got hit while getting chucked that's very odd now I'm making this look very easy because I've done this a lot <laughs> to be frank alright oh if we can just if we can just get this no no he was too late now this is the problem with this level this guy, this guy, he's got a tan going on, that's pretty cool, first step, just throwing that out there. But he's kind of a jerk, and he takes his time. Now, you can go that way, and get like, I don't even know what that is, is that a stinking pineapple? I swear, there's like a one-up over there, it is not even worth it, at all. Alright, so let's just get ready, oh, he stops like right there. But sometimes he doesn't, it's weird. So, the shine sprite is literally right over there, but we gotta wait on this guy, it's like, ugh. Why would they ever design a level like this, I don't know. Miyamoto was out that day, and Miyamoto's evil twin, Miyamata, came in and was like, Oh, I had to make a, the worst uh, Mario level ever, and everyone hated it, my brother will, will lose all his credibility. And uh, he's apparently French, and oh my gosh, he's so slow. Stop it. Stop it. Come on. Come on. All right, so we just got to hurry up and quit spazzing out. <laughs> it's like the fastest you can do this. Good thing the red coin mission is actually pretty... Okay. And I just did that perfectly. And that was literally something I was not looking forward to for the entire Let's Play. And it wasn't actually that bad. Yeah. I'm a Chuckster. I'm a Chuckster. Shine. I'm a Shine. Episode 6 of Panada Village. Panadas in need. This level... This level... What can you say about this level? <laughs> I start every level off like that. I, I just say, oh, This level, man. It'll change a man. Man, no, this one's not actually that bad. In fact, I think it's kind of fun. The mayor's just kind of, oh no, I just went away for a bit, and now look, I can't believe it, another fine mess, and it's a doozy. 
Some of the villagers are trapped in a burning ooze! I, I just finished evacuating everybody a little bit while ago. Uh, when the world's happening, I think I might just start crying. <laughs> I'm sorry to trouble you, but please, can you find a way to help us out? Ten villagers are trapped in the slime. You must hurry! Now, it's level. Ain't too bad. All you gotta do is... You have three minutes to clean off all the villagers. It's not too tough, and man... <laughs> I'm certainly doing a lot of good. I mean, I'd hate to see what happens when I'm not here helping all the villagers. That's essentially all you gotta do. Come around and clean the villagers. It's really easy. And there are actually a ton of blue coins to get, but I'll save that for the blue coin episode I'm gonna be doing uh, later. I haven't actually decided. It's kind of just like I'm procrastinating something I don't want to do, like studying for a test. I just don't want to do the blue coins this game. Because they're not very fun, and they're actually we can't technically do them all yet, so I'm just gonna like get them done and we'll fall swoop for people that are actually wondering how I'm gonna do that. Alright, so let's, uh, ooh, miss one. Oh yes, I missed a oh, pinata. Now we already have five and we've almost, we're not even done with a minute yet, so it's kind of weird in a way. I don't know. They give you way too much time for this in my opinion. Alright, pretend to be a sting of seal. That's what it looks like when <laughs> or like a penguin. That's how I mentioned like a penguin would slide. Actually, don't all people slide the same? Whatever, I'm just blabbering at this moment. <laughs> okay, now actually I'm trying to concentrate. Like, I know in my brain which ones I'm missing, but I don't, like, know. What is that? That makes no sense. I'm, what I'm trying to get my point across is, I, like, feel where the panadas are, I just can't remember. Now if it comes down to it, and I feel this mission after saying it was so easy, I'm going to be a tiny bit embarrassed, but hey, it's happened before this LP, hasn't it? It's okay. That should be the eighth one. All right, and that one is right over there. Mm -hmm. Actually, what the heck? Oh, I touched it by accident because I was sliding too fast. And there's a swing over there. This is commentating. This is a let's play. This is a let's play. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm sucking. Ah. Now I want to get a high vantage point and figure. Oh, he's right over there. Okay. <laughs> so, ooh, what the, what the heck? No! What? Okay. So I'm gonna use my genius ideology to get out of this. And there we go. So, the last panada. <laughs> I thought I was going to be stuck in there or something. But the last panada is right there. Okay, I was getting a little worried. It's the tiny guy. He's a little kid. He's just chilling. He's just chilling. And there's the last one. We got them all. Yay. Now, all I got to do is just come over and back and talk to the mayor. Just don't magically get, like, blown off the bridge or anything. Sometimes, like, if you're sliding on it, you, like, clip through it. It's really annoying. So, I don't... I just walk over it. Most of the time, I just, like, uh, pretend to be a penguin and... Just like, sit on my belly and you, you get what I'm saying. You, you're the savior, pal. Not a village of when in your ditch. As a war, please take this. How does this benefit me? I'm Mario, and you, you want the shine sprites. Why would you give that to me? My brain hurts from asking questions. That's the sixth mission of Panada Village. And episode number seven of Panada Village: Shadow Mario runs wild. This level is actually a strange one, because after this, something very, very odd is going to happen. We'll get to that in the time. And this is actually the last Shadow Mario level of the whole game. Holy crap, we're actually mission. It's not really a level per se. And it's also, it can be either the hardest or the easiest, depending on how stupid you are. And you know me, my lack of intelligence. <laughs> so we might be in some trouble. Yes, Shadow Mario. Oh, gosh, dang it. Shadow Mario is actually the fastest in this course, and he also shoots fire out of his butt or somewhere. I don't stink enough. But if you just constantly spam your flood, well, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. That is, unless you get, like, caught by it. Oh, good. <laughs> I've actually never seen him go this far. He usually ends so quickly that it's, like, stupid, because he really doesn't have very well, much, like, place to go. And, oh, I can't remember this. And, yes, that might have been the fastest Shadow Mario. Shine. Ever, in fact. All right, so let's just pick it up. Now, this is weird, and it's kind of like hard to do this in a let's play per se. But you notice I'm still talking. What? Aren't we gonna do the eighth mission? You can't actually do that exactly yet. Hey, what the heck? Oh, Shadow Mario. He's over there on the Shine Gate, and he's going inside Corona Mountain. What? Yeah, this is. A <laughs> and if you actually go in there. If you go inside Corona Mountain at this play point, uh, something will happen. But oh my gosh, all of Al Delfino is flooded for no reason. It doesn't make any sense. Like how could how could what? 
And <laughs> there's actually like a ton of really weird glitches you can do in like at this point of the game. Yeah, when it's like flooded, involving this log mostly. Uh, this isn't a glitch video, so there's no point in showing that off. Now, how do you get up to Corona Mountain? Oh, that's pretty easy to do that. There you go. Now, the thing is, this is actually the technically like the final level. But this LP isn't done, because we only got like, what, like, uh, uh, 56 shines. And that's not quite enough. So I'm going to head inside Corona Mountain, and once I actually come back out, you can actually just do all the shines normally. So, yeah, I'll be right back. And I basically just wanted to do that for completionist's sake, just so, like, it's not like, oh, we gotta go to the final. Like, I don't want to do the final battle when we only got, like, less than 60 shines. It's kind of ridiculous. And hey, look! If you actually get this point of the game or you get 60 shines, all of Aldefina will be sunny. Yes, very fun. <laughs> but yeah, now we gotta go and actually finish up the last shine of Panada Park. Or not Park, gosh dang it, Village. <laughs> No, there's penna and penata. It's kind of, it's kind of tricky on the, on the tongue, I guess. Yeah, man, this game's so sunny, like goodness. It's like, oh, so much sun. Ah. And yes, now we almost have, like, all of Aldolfino sunny. But there's one more thing we gotta do. That's clean off the shine gate. But, actually, put, I kind of want to make that the last shine because that's like I saved that for the longest time when I actually played the game for Rizzle. But yeah, last shine for now inside Pinna Village or Pinna. Ah, oh, gosh dang it. <laughs> Always mess that up. Is Fluff Festival Coin Hunt! Yeah! It's kinda lame they made the last level a coin mission, but hey, the whole game was like that, so it's kinda like, you know, they had to follow their pattern. And this level is cool, because the Panadas are having a party to celebrate the Fluff returning. Or whatever. I don't know what the actual backstory behind that is. That first red coin under the village. Who the crap would find that? I have no idea. But that's where it is. Now this level, uh, I don't actually remember where they all are. Like, ugh. see, oh gosh, that was really close. <laughs> I'm really bad if I died on this mission, considering it's actually really hard to die early on. But I'm just saying. All right. So next red coin is up on this tree to the right of me. Oh. What's up here? Oh well, man, those bees are getting pretty close to me, dude. I gotta watch out for those bees. I'm being pretty hyper, but that's because I want to beat this as quick as I can. I want to see how fast I can do these raccoons. Mm, destroy them. All right. <laughs> oh, I'm just so hyper. I can't help it though. This game, this game will do that to you. It makes you just like ugh, it brings back your like little four-year-oldness. I guess I don't know. <laughs> how do I say that? Another red coin right there. Mm, now where is he? Oh yeah, it's right up there. So this, red, this next one is up there because the coin's pretending to be an apple. Why is the coin pretending to be an apple? That's just silly of him. What a crazy guy. And the next one is actually on the other side of the... Actually, should have done these in different order if I was trying to go for speed. But in all reality, who cares? Because I'm not a speedrunner. I probably never will be. Unless it's... I'm doing my homework and I'm trying to do it as fast as possible because I'm a speedrunner master. I'm doing homework. Yeah, okay. Five coins now. Where are the remain? Oh, I know. Now there's actually a giant, like, um... Uh, I kind of want to do this trick, but I kind of don't want to. Uh, basically, how you're supposed to do this mission is you're supposed to climb the giant tree. But I'll do that when we actually have to come back here. There's actually a kind of a shortcut you can do. Actually, um... Yeah, that's where that coin was. And it is in the jacuzzi in which we bathed. The giant chain chomp. That was quite mad. There's a coin. Oop, kind of be fast. Oh, gosh. There is bees, and they can knock you off if you're not careful, but we were careful and stuff. Speaking of careful, we gotta avoid this blue coin. We must avoid it. We must avoid it. This is the last blue coin that we gotta avoid for the rest of the game. And we did it! Yeah! Now, here's my little speed running trick you can do right here. You see up, oh, you see what they did? They're like, if you suck at climbing the tree, you can do this actually kind of harder thing to do. Just spin jump and just trust yourself. Trust yourself. You'll make it. It's pretty easy jump. And the last red coin is actually just come on, come on. Oh, there it is. <laughs> we actually get a secret shine right now, but I'm saving those for later. And that is the eighth red coin of Panada Village. It's the fluff hunt. But it's not over yet, because my goodness, is getting to the shine impossible? All right. So I gotta trust myself here and my ability to do this. Just turn around. Just turn Mario around and wait. Wait for the gust to take you. Do not jump the gun and try and flood all the way over there. This won't work. 
And they actually give you another nozzle if you lost yours. Now be careful. Okay, so we did it, and we got the final shot. I've died so many times trying to get to this thing and had to do redo the mission. That time we did it, and then, guys, we got 57 shine spreads. Oh my gosh. And that's actually excluding, excluding, it's a big word, they're excluding the 100 coin missions and the blue coin missions and all the missions that we can do inside of, uh, actually, like, Isle Delfino. We have cleared the main part of the game. Look at that. Look at that star count. Or actually shine. Whatever. We got a lot of shine spreads. And in the next episode, guys, we're gonna go back to Bianco Hills and start the secret missions of the game. Yes. <laughs> I've been planning this for quite some time. And yeah, I think I think it's gonna be cool. I think you guys are gonna like it. So yeah, make sure you guys tune in. What's this guy talking about? Uh, how about a boat shot convenient, huh? Yeah. That's going to be the last thing you hear for this episode. Boats sure are convenient. Huh?